In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Word of God welcomes you this morning. And as we spend this time with the Lord, as we begin this new day by devoting time to the Lord, let us ask the Lord to be with us, to guide us, to protect us, and most importantly, to lead us on throughout this day. That whatever we do, the words that we speak, the actions that we do, that they may all radiate the goodness, love, mercy and peace of the Lord. Many times in life, we are so caught up with the activities, with our work. And because of that, we see that sometimes we find it difficult to recognize the small blessings and the graces that we continuously receive from the Lord. And because of this reason, we sometimes tend to take these things for granted. Therefore, it would be appropriate as we begin today's morning offering that we spend time thanking the Lord. With a generous heart, the Lord has been giving us many graces, many blessings. And therefore, let us thank Him for all that He has done for us. We begin by thanking the Lord for the gift of life for giving us good talents, abilities. We also thank the Lord for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who have played a very important role in our lives. We see that these individuals have been ones who have shaped us and molded us. We are who we are because of their time, effort, and dedication. And therefore, in a very special way, let us pray for them and let us ask the Lord to bless them abundantly in all their endeavors. We also thank the Lord for the various opportunities that He has given us. Opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others or opportunities to grow, opportunities to become better individuals. Similarly, there are also the experiences that we may have. There are some experiences which are really good, which we all want to cherish. But there may also be experiences that have been difficult, that have taught us a lot in life. It is these experiences which may have been harsh, which may have been difficult, but these have made us stronger, have made us understand better our purpose in life. And therefore, we shall thank the Lord for giving us these strengthening experiences as well. We also thank the Lord for the gift of this day. We thank Him for protecting us, for guarding us through the night and giving us the gift of this day, a day that will help us to probably complete something that was left incomplete or maybe to do something that may make a difference in the lives of others. And therefore today, in a very special way, let us ask the Lord to be with us and guide us. And now we shall reflect and meditate on Psalm 51. As usual, we shall have a general overview of the Psalm and then we shall gradually enter into the details trying to see a few verses and what they try to communicate to us. Now, Psalm 51 is a penitential psalm, which means that it is a prayer of repentance and at the same time, it is also a plea for forgiveness. It is attributed to King David, who wrote it after he was confronted by the prophet Nathan about his sin with Bathsheba. Now, we see that the psalm will begin with David's plea for mercy and forgiveness. And overall, one can say that Psalm 51 is a powerful example of repentance and a plea for God's forgiveness. 
This psalm reminds everyone that our sin is not just an action, but it is an offense against God's holiness and righteousness. This psalm teaches us to acknowledge our sin, to ask for God's mercy and forgiveness, and most importantly, to seek a clean heart and a renewed spirit. The psalm also will show us the importance of teaching others about God's ways and leading sinners back to him. And therefore, we see that today's psalm is quite rich when it comes to aspects such as repentance and forgiveness. And the psalm begins with David acknowledging that he has sinned against God and therefore he asks the Lord to blot out his transgressions. David confesses that his sin is ever before him and that he knows that he has sinned against God alone. Now moving along to verse number 4, we see that David will recognize that his sin is not just an action but it's an offense against God's holiness as well as God's righteousness. And he acknowledges that God is just and righteous in his judgment and that he deserves the punishment that he is receiving. And therefore here we see that David takes responsibility for his action and therefore he knows that whatever is happening to him is as a consequence of the sin that he has done. Moving along to verses 6 to 9, here we see that David asked God to cleanse him of his sin and to create in him a clean heart. It is here that David recognizes that only God can wash away his sins and can make him pure again. He also asked God not to cast him away from his presence but to restore the joy of his salvation. Moving on to verse 10, we see that David asked God once again to create in him a clean heart and to renew a spirit within him, a spirit that is right, a spirit that will not mislead. And this is a plea for God to change David's innermost being so that he can live a life that is pleasing to God. And as we move along to verses 11 to 12, David asks God not to take his Holy Spirit away from him but to restore to him the joy of his salvation. He recognizes that his sin has caused him to lose the sense of God's presence in his life and that he longs to be restored to the right relationship with God. And therefore we see that our sin is something that takes us away from God. It drags us away. And therefore the more we sin, the more further we tend to go away. And David explicitly mentions this to the Lord. And then as we move to verses 13 to 17, here we see that David promises to teach others about God's ways and to lead sinners back to him. And here we see that David is not selfish, but he wants to get others to God as well. He wants to share the forgiveness and the repentance of the Lord with others. And therefore, this is also part of everyone's mission. Through our words, through our actions, we are called to lead people to God, to help people follow the right path. And we see that here David also recognizes that God does not desire sacrifice, but a broken, contrite heart. Therefore, the repentance that we have should be truly from within. That is what the Lord wants us. He doesn't want us to perform rituals but he wants us to truly repent and mean every word that we say. And here we see that David understands that only through repentance and obedience can anyone find true forgiveness and restoration with God. And we see that the psalm finally ends with a plea for God to bless Jerusalem and to bless his people. David recognizes that his sin has not only affected him, but also has affected the entire nation. And therefore he asks God to restore them to a right relationship with him. And so my dear friends, having reflected and meditated 
on this psalm. There may be some thoughts that would have touched us, some aspects of the psalm, perhaps something on forgiveness or repentance. Let us allow these thoughts to remain with us. And let us now close our eyes and at this morning hour, let us thank the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us glorify the Lord. Loving Father, you have given us this time in the morning. You have been gracious to us. You have given us your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has cleansed us from our sins. He has taken away all our sins and he has given us new life. Lord, as you have given us the Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, to bless us and to protect us. And for all this, Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you. You have protected us, Lord, and you have guarded us all through the night. And you have given us this morning hour. For your great love and mercy, O Lord, we thank you. We offer you this day, O Lord, and all that we do. And we ask that you always be with us and accompany us in all our actions. And now, my dear friends, let us spend a few moments in silence, reflecting on any thought from Psalm 51 that would have touched us, something that would have given us a better understanding of ourselves. And let us remain with this thought, asking the Lord to change us, to help us become better individuals. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of April, for the role of women. We pray that the dignity and immense value of women be recognized in every culture and for the end of discrimination that they experience in different parts of the world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition 
Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me. Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me. Christ in the eye that sees me. Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. Regina Chaley Queen of Heaven, rejoice! Alleluia! For he whom you did merit to bear, Alleluia! has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia, for the Lord has truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray, O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant, we beseech thee, 
that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong before the throne of God. I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends, without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors, and one more person to love, and by whom be loved, for your grace and one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us, to be our God, and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Prayer to the Garden Angel 
angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us god the holy spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us holy mary pray for us holy mother of god pray for us holy virgin of virgins pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of the church pray for us mother of mercy pray for us mother of divine grace pray for us mother of hope pray for us mother most pure pray for us mother most chaste pray for us mother inviolate pray for us mother undefiled pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice pray for us seat 
of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us ta of david pray for us ta of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly host by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint gertrude prayer for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory 
for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen